Thank you, Gail. Coming up next, Keith Coughlin will tell us about the new London Barn Playhouse, or should we say the new London Barn Play Tent for the 2021 season. And let me tell you why we did the bear, because this would be helpful for anyone that's got an organization beginning or one that's going on. We were hoping that we would get to our 21st year. Now this year it'll be 22nd. But if you put everything out in the League of Diamonds, the group coming along might find that there's a recession or that the committee cannot afford such and such. So we decided to keep it meaningful, uh, done with heart. And I think it was Andy Steele's idea that we do a Care Bear. Uh, Joan Byron knits a band, a headband, and it says women who make a difference in letters and then the year. So it makes it very special. But it started out with the three women who did the speaking and then we honored Jan Saylor. And then the next year we had one speaker. In fact, it was my probably my favorite speaker. We had just been through 9-11 and Laurie Alvord, who was the first surgeon out of the Navajo tribe and a doctor at Dartmouth College was our speaker. So each year we decide on the speaker and luckily they come. We had the first woman editor of the Old Farmers uh, Almanac and we've, we've just had incredible speakers. And each time they offer something to the audience and they celebrate women and they have something to, to tell us and to teach us. And then we started 10 years ago, Kathy reminded me, we had the high school girl that we honored. So Kathy sends out a letter to all of the high school uh, principals. And then these letters of nomination come back. And honestly, we could have every single girl up there on the stage receiving the teddy bear. It's just wonderful to see the girls who are doing such great work at age 16 or 17. I mean, in nursing and volunteering and helping autistic children, whatever. They, they're just, it's hope for the rest of the world. It really is. And they're an example. And again, it's a surprise. The principal gets them there somehow. Their family gets there and um, we honor them. Every year we say, we have a meeting afterwards, the committee does, and we try to pull everything apart. Well, next year we should do this or that year, and what was good and what was bad. So the programs, one year we had jelly beans in the center, so of course our program was that. Another year we had birdhouses in the center and let people take them home. Then this was a special year. We celebrated moms and um, everyone had a story to tell. If anything really stands out in my mind, it's the people within the community who have taken this event to heart. Eight years ago, we started one of the most popular programs at the event. Nicole Densmore trains her children at the elementary school to sing a song that is fitting the theme that we have. And they get the reward they get are popsicles that Jan Saylor always gets. Now they look forward to this. This is their big highlight of the year. They just love, and I'm telling you, they have a standing ovation every single time they come. And they start the program and they march in and all these little faces and they're singing and they're just, it's heartwarming. One of the highlights of the Women Who Make a Difference is that we end with a fantastic singer who picks a song that goes with our theme. And it really is something that we all love to hear. I feel every day that I'm a cheerleader for the Lake Sunapee VNA. They are an essential service and if they weren't here, we would have to invent them. They're miracle workers. And that's because the staff is so phenomenal. Now, you must remember, this takes a lot of work because they're doing 32 towns and they go from birth to hospice. Very well done. And it has compassion and love and you feel a part of what is going on. And 
I am forever grateful for the Lake Sunnyvie VNA.